Well, thanks to an Amazon gift card that someone uh, gifted me this year for Christmas, I uh, had the opportunity to pick up this. It's a VidPro Professional Photo and Video skate doll uh, Skater Dolly. I like this one in particular because of the reviews that I read. Um, it seems like a solid unit. It's got a little weight to it, which is what I was looking for. And supposedly it's got sealed ball bearing units with rollerblade style wheels. It's a modular design. It's got this handle here to allow you to move the dolly around to and fro. And the wheels are directional. So if I want to go straight back and forth, I can use a slider unit. Or if I want to tilt the wheels, I can go in a circle and surround something if I'm doing another review on it. So um, this is the one I decided. So I'm going to crack this thing open and let's see what's inside. All right, so it's just a piece of tape that holds this together. Tape's free. And here we go. So it starts off, we've got, oh, a telescopic handle here, which is really cool. That means I don't have to be on the floor when I uh, move the unit around. I can actually open that up all the way and stand up. We've got the actual dolly itself. And then we've got some bits and pieces to mount our SLR or our camcorder, which I'm recording on right now. And if you've got the right adapters, you can even mount the GoPro on there. So, let's crack this one apart. Yeah, it's like a billet aluminum design. Uh, design. And we've got this, and we've got this. So, there's no documentation or anything, but I've seen enough videos, and I've seen pictures of this. It seems pretty straightforward to uh, configure and set up. If I understand correctly, this guy will mount here, and we use it as a handle, and this will allow me to move the unit, okay? And then we've got, this guy will go up here, and we could adjust the elbows accordingly, and then mount our camera on the top, okay? Any which way we want, and there's different pivot points here, so we can angle the camera, you know, however we want it oriented. And then we've got our wheels, which I'll move this out of the way. The wheels turn on both accesses. And if you notice here, it's like these oversized thumb screws, which are not plastic. It's like a billet aluminum also. And what's nice about that is once you lock in a direction, you can kind of tighten it up and then move this back and forth, which is really, really cool. Uh, that's a big deal. Or, if you wanted to, without using the adjustable elbows, your camera can mount right to this as well. So you've got a slew of options here, a whole plethora of options, which makes uh, adjusting all this pretty cool. So I'm going to put this together, I'm going to mount my camera onto it, and I'll take some sample uh, videos and see what this looks like. So one thing I'd like to note, which I really like, and I wasn't aware of that until now, is... You've got these markers here, okay, and then lines on the axle itself that tell you what degree that you are pitched at. Now, what's cool about that is rather than eyeballing what dead zero would be, you can actually use the line on the axle to line it up to zero. Or if you want it to be one degree, two degree, three degree, so on and so forth. So in this case, I want it to be at dead center. So based on where I am, it's oriented, it looks like it's oriented in a way where I know on the camera it looks like I'm off, but off camera it's lined up pretty well. So I've, I already did it for this one. And then once I'm satisfied with that, I can just lock it all down with the thumb screw in the back, which I've done on this one already. So that's pretty neat. Okay, we've got the first part assembled. And all that entails is just taking this it's basically a glorified selfie stick. And this guy just screws right in. And then you could kind of tighten it down with that little washer there. And let me see if I can prop this up the right way. I'll use my foot as leverage. And here we go. This actually comes right up. I'll zoom back. And what's cool about that is from a distance, I can now control this. And I can use that for really wicked pan shots and slide shots and whatnot without the necessity of an expensive slider. Pretty neat.
All right, so now I've got the camera mounted to this part of the dolly itself. And obviously I can't demonstrate what that looks like from this perspective, but I actually have my hand right on the handle. And what's cool about that is I can now take really nice smooth to and fro shots with ease, no shake, no jitter. Okay, and provided you've got a nice smooth floor, which unfortunately down here I don't, there's a little bump in the floor. I can get that dramatic shot that we're always looking for. I can get it nice and close and just pull right back. Now if you want to add more of a, a dramatic tilt and pan here, I've got the front wheels on an extreme angle and the back wheels locked at a zero degree angle. But this also from a distance allows me to use the handle in the back to get a nice pivot and bring it right into frame, which is a nice touch. I'm sure as time goes on, I'll be able to play around with the adapters a little bit and get more, uh, more comfortable with angles and whatnot. But I will be including this with using this tool now for all my uh, next reviews and whatnot. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I paid $60 for this on Amazon. So far, I'm very happy. I think the quality and the construction are up to par. It's a modular design, which allows you to put the different pivot point, the uh, tools that it comes with at all different angles. You're not stuck to using it on one different uh, access or plane. So I'm happy with it, and I'm looking forward to playing with it. Enjoy.